Hi, it's Simon, and uh, did anyone see this coming? Hello, and welcome to introducing Notion AI Alpha. The Alpha project is the first of its kind, and it's already changing the way people interact with their computers. I can't wait to see what we're going to accomplish with Notion AI Alpha by your side. I'll start by talking about what AI Alpha is and how it works, then I'll give you my thoughts on the features and how well they work. I've been using Notion AI Alpha for a while now, and I'm really impressed with the features and performance. Okay, AI Alpha, we're all impressed. Blowing your own trumpet there. Notion AI has landed. <laughs> Yeah, kind of wonderfully, Notion out of the blue have released Notion AI, adding artificially intelligent assistance directly to the workspace. And it could be set to transform how we can all use Notion for productivity, creating, writing, and all the rest. Augmented creativity is on its way. So today, let's get stuck into this complete guide to Notion AI and how it can supercharge your writing, researching, and creating in Notion. And stick around to the end for my favorite of these AI features and how I'm using them. Now, Notion AI is currently in alpha. We have got early access to test and explore all the new features promised in Notion AI. These are my own first impressions and well, it's pretty promising. This video does have a sponsor though, and that is my go-to book summary tool, short form, Fantastic stuff, more on them later on. Now, Notion AI will only be free in alpha for you tech aficionados out there. It's based on OpenAI's GTP3, and this will be costing Notion, I presume, to use it, so that does make sense. First, you have to opt in to use it as an additional upgraded feature. It's also good to see in there that they confirm that they will not use your data for training or share it with third parties. A lot of people will be very pleased to hear that. Now, in your Notion workspace, you can access the AI feature in a few ways. I can select a piece of content and in the edit menu, I will also see this new AI assist tab where I can select AI editing options for what I want to do with that selection. You can summarize it, translate it, fix spelling and grammar, and it can help you edit directly. But I think the most interesting options, however, can be found just using the usual forward slash function on a page. With AI assist turned on, we now have these new options appear above the usual input options, notably including things like brainstorming ideas and a continue writing function. Now, clicking on the more tab within here will also go further and offer a range of full-on creative AI functions to help you create a blog post, meeting agendas, sales emails, even social media posts. So help me write is a cool place to start with what we're doing here. Here is one final way you can see how to use this. It just pops up on an empty page. So I've made my better creating AI lab to try things out. I can click there and pick anything from here, which is really cool. But all we're gonna do is start with an empty page. I'm gonna do forward slash, and I'm gonna select help me write. And this is a place where you can just put any prompt in. So for example, I could say, tell me the best use cases for Notion and personal productivity. And it will write whatever you want. Here we go, look, it's just writing for me. If I don't like it, I can just click try again pretty good and it will do it in a slightly different way this time it's doing it in a bullet point form let's try something different help me write why don't we do describe the best marvel characters in a table you can also ask it to format stuff in whatever way you want so there you go it's listed in a table there you go not bad let's try it again see if it does something different rewrite this time it's dropped it into a different format. I quite like that, a bit mail heavy, isn't it? Now, whilst you can't create an actual database from an AI prompt, you can create a table and then simply convert that into a database. Now, you'll see it says that AI alpha can be misleading or inaccurate here, and you have an option to input feedback to the AI for future improvement. I mean, why not? It's artificial intelligence, right? We'll look more at editing, summarizing, and translating a little later on. But before we do that, I just wanna mention that if you are new to the channel, there's a ton of accessible Notion content here on the playlists, from build tutorials to tours of my complete Notion life management systems to give you ideas and inspiration, as well as loads of other great ideas, tools, and tech to help us live better, stress-free, productive lives. So make sure to subscribe if you're not, and turn on those notifications. Let's take helping to write first and have the AI create full blog posts and outlines. So I'm gonna bring up my video page in my Life OS template. Under more, we can select write a blog post. This is perhaps closest to a YouTube video. Let's see what it does if I ask it to write a video on goals and using Notion 
for setting goals and planning the year. Pretty cool, right? Now, whilst this is free of plagiarism, this is not something I would just publish straight away. I do think, though, it's a great option for getting you started. But cooler, I think, is the outline option, which I think I will be using as a great tool for any of us that create content or run projects. Let's have a look. We're going to do AI Assist, and we're going to go to More, and we're going to do an outline. Let's generate it and see what it does. Let's try again. Not bad, it does it pretty simply, but this could be a place where I could then start to build on that idea. Pretty cool. The other thing you could do is, if we do that again, in a list format, you could kind of outline exactly how you want it to be listed. Okay, next up, summarizing and translating. I can use the AI to summarize something I've written. I'm gonna select the whole thing. And with AI Assist, I want it to be summarized. And it will write a really simple summary. So, for example, yoga can boost your productivity in a number of ways from improving sleep and higher thinking to reducing stress and anxiety by stimulating the prefrontal lobes of the brain. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Let's try another one. Select it all. AI Assist, summarize. Let's try again, see what else it will do. Pretty great, and that will give you a summary which I could then drop in at the top. Well, let's take that now and let's look at translation. So in Assist, I can now translate it. So maybe we're gonna translate it into Italian. Insert that below. Let's just test it one more time. We're gonna take it then to Japanese. It drops in prefrontal, pretty interesting. Insert, and then one final test. Let's take it back to English and see how similar it is. Yoga not only, that's pretty damn close, fantastic. I think you could rely on this pretty heavily if you wanted to translate your material into other languages or whatever, but love that. We can also then use what is generated and use the continue writing function within it to take things further. Look at that, keep that. And you can just kind of keep going with this. Drop in, continue writing. Hopefully it will follow the same format. There you go. Look at that. So it's copying the kind of layout of the details and it's actually drawing information from the internet as well. So I think this is a great way to start or get past the block, you know, when you have that feeling of like getting past the empty page. So if you want to unlock your writing, if you get a little bit of writer's block, maybe using the continue writing feature could be great. And finally, let's do an example of fixing spelling and grammar. So let's do a bad sentence. This is terrible. Let's select it and fix the spelling and grammar. Nice. Now, another thing we can do is use this to help us edit something we've already written, which I really like. So let's jump across to my Life OS, go to my content creation, and let's look at this video. Now in here, I'm gonna select this, AI Assist, help me edit. How would you like to edit it? Make this text and more of a hook. Let's try it. Not bad. Let's try again. Pretty cool. I really like that. So I can just insert that below and it's giving me a really precise way to kind of edit down what I've got. And this is the perfect moment to tell you about what has become an essential tool in my work. And that's what I think is the world's best online book summary tool, today's sponsor, Shortform. Now you can find summaries of the key ideas of books through condensed views. And whilst this is not intended as a replacement for reading books, it's great to quickly discover or refine powerful ideas you've read before. I've recently been having a digital declutter to make my day a little bit simpler. And having read Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport years ago, I used the short form summary to recap the essential steps to take in that journey in just a couple of minutes. I also found my highlighted notes saved there as well, but it's much more than just a summary. For example, the short form team included this digital interactive exercise to help you work out what a digital declutter might look like. Pretty cool. Now, my favorite part, however, is the way that each summary also suggests alternative viewpoints that might have been published since the book you are reading came out in short 
form notes so you can get the full picture on a subject. You're not just reading in a bubble and it's a great way to improve your knowledge. So you can deepen your understanding in subjects like self-improvement, productivity, entrepreneurship and more. Give short form a try. You can do it completely for free for five days, unlimited access. Just use my link in the description and it also gives you a further 20% off the annual subscription if you decide to go ahead and keep it. I recommend you do. It's one of the best tools I've discovered other than Notion and it literally helps me every day. So thanks Shortform for sponsoring this video. Now here are my pick of the features in the Notion AI setup and how I'm using them. A pros and cons list. Now one of the ways I might use this is I'm about to review an AI webcam. Maybe it could be about that. So that is fantastic. I really like it. Now if I wanted to, I could take this and go actually I want that in a table. AI assist, help me edit, turn this into a table, insert that below, let's have a look. There you go. Next, let's do social media posts. So we can go in here and there's a social media post. Write a tweet to advertise my new Notion AI review video. Pretty good. I would probably use those tags as well. How about a sales email? Promote my new Notion complete life for 2023. With a new year comes New Year's resolutions and a sense of starting fresh. What better time to start off in 2023? Have you completely organized your life and got it under control? It's a not a bad starting point for me to use. I like it. Let's try again. Pretty good. And this is particularly cool, scraping information from the internet. If we go in here, I'm gonna select essay, break down of the best productivity concepts for managing mental health. Let's see what it does. And it's pretty cool. It's giving me a couple of good examples. The Pomodoro technique, the Eisenhower matrix, the 2020 20 rule, and a conclusion. Now, I wonder if I can get it to find academic quotations on that subject. Pretty damn cool. Okay, it's finding it from various websites, but as a starting point, you can probably develop that further. One of my favorite features is the brainstorming ideas function. Let's try this. So, great December video titles for a productivity YouTube channel. Not bad. So it's not completely perfect, but you can get quite a lot of good stuff out of it. I don't mind that at all. If we go back to my content manager in my goal setting video, I did this for title ideas and it came up with a ton of great bits and bobs. So I'm gonna use that to title my very next video. Now, one final thing that we can do using Help Me Write is calculations. So I can say, calculate one, two, eight times 23. And it gives me the answer, pretty obvious. However, uh, you could probably do things like, what is the square root of 34? And it will basically give you an answer. Now it says here, it can be inaccurate or misleading. So let's double check that, the square root of 34. Well, that's pretty good. Now on this one, apparently if you tell the AI to think in steps, you get a much more accurate answer from the AI when you want to calculate something. Now I'm not a coder, but we can do working code. For example, help me write, write some working code for a website mailing list capture form. And it will literally drop in something there. Now probably, those of you that understand code will find that quite funny, but there are some great examples of how to use AI and how it's working for code that people like Thomas Frank, Red Gregory have shared on their videos. So check those out as well. They go further into other details on this. So that is our first exploration of Notion AI. If you are a Notion user or just Notion curious, definitely go across to bettercreating.com to check out my various Notion resources, including my complete life OS templates, full personal Notion systems to help you manage and simplify your life from task management and habit tracking to creative projects and project templates. And of course, you can also find more info on my Notion from Scratch training series, a great resource for learning Notion and building useful stuff in it at the same time I'm working on right now. More of those videos are coming if you're waiting. 
been a busy month. And if you don't want to miss future templates, updates, and Notion tools from me, just jump onto my newsletter for occasional updates and early access to all of that Notion and productivity goodness. All that's left to say is make sure to like this video and drop a sub to the channel if you haven't. I strongly recommend watching one of these next for more on how to leverage Notion's power to improve your life. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.